Hi, I'm Linda Davis, a member of Anna Aspenis' creative team. I'd like to begin a short series with some of the tools available for recoloring Anna's art. Today I'd like to share some ways I've used a hue and saturation adjustment layer, a tool I've used to recolor not only Anna's designs, but also to make subtle adjustments to my photos so that they match Anna's color palettes. Yes, I've really adjusted the color in my photos to match Anna's transfers. So let's begin by finding where you could, uh, we're looking for where you can find a hue and saturation adjustment layer. It's under this little button, and I am create new fill or adjustment layer. I am going to hold down the Option or Alt key and click because I want to clip this adjustment layer to my uh, to the transfer that I want to change. And this is from Artplay Palette Explorer. And when the property pa Properties panel opens up, you get a default menu and master. Master means that, it, that changes you make sliding left or right will affect all of the colors on the layer below. But this is going to work fine because this transfer really just has blues in it. If I go this way, they get more purple. If I go this way, they become a lighter blue, more like the colors in my photo. This, uh, the master uh, channel also works well with solid color elements like uh, buttons. In this case, I want that button to be uh, a purple, a light purple color. And I'm going to press Option and clip an adjustment layer to the button. And I'm just going to move my slider over so that I get a more purple color. I'm going to desaturate it a little bit and make it a little less color, and I'm going to lighten it. Okay? So those are just two examples of using the master preset of a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Underneath the master, uh, the drop-down menu, there are also some uh, single color channels that you can access. And this is very handy if you only want to affect one color in a photo. For instance, in this photo, what I'd like to change is the water that's in my photo so that it matches the color that's in Anna's um, transfer. This is Artplay Palette Oasis Transfer 8. So I'm going to clip a hue and saturation adjustment layer just to the photo and I'm going to go down and choose the cyans and I'm going to make my adjustments. If I had left it at master and made, tried to make changes you can see it affects everything in the layer below. I don't want to do that. I just want to change that water so that it will match the transfer. So I'm going to move it, if I go this way it's too green, I'm going to move it this way to the right, and I think I'll bump up the saturation just a little, about there. And now it looks much closer to what Anna's transfer looks like. I have also changed the color on clothing using a single color channel. In this case, I wanted that the magenta on that shirt to be more blue in order to go with the other photos and the um, uh, Anna art that I was using on the page. So what I did is I attached a hue and saturation adjustment layer. I clipped it to the photo. The master will not work. You can see what happens because that's changing all the colors. All I really want to change is that magenta shirt so that it's more blue. So I'm going to move this over this way. You can see I get the blue is coming. I'm going to desaturate, lessen the saturation a little bit, and if I want to, I can lighten it. Okay. You can also use a single color adjustment on a um, multi-layered file. In this case, the cherries that uh, these are multimedia summer. Uh, the cherries, it's um, file PSD file number four. 
And what I did is I attached to the cherry. I wanted to warm them up so they had those uh, more closer to the red that's in those Rainiers. And I clipped a hue and saturation adjustment layer to it. And I went to the reds. And I went this way just to warm it up just a little bit. Not a lot, just a subtle difference. Another hue and saturation adjustment layer. And I'm going to warm them both up. Not the master, I'm going to use just the reds. It's a single color, it's an easy fix. The third option that is, in, is available in the default mat menu that I use is this option called Colorize. Initially I learned this technique for creating sepia tones in photographs, but recently I've discovered it works well with light leaks. I'm going to turn this one off and show you what I'm talking about. In this light leak, this, these are light leaks too. This is a multicolored one. This is ping file number six. And I'm going to add, add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. If I try to change it with the master, it affects everything. And if I were to try it with a single color, it wouldn't, it, it doesn't work. But if I click this box and I start moving the slider over, I can recolor it without it destroying the texture that Anna gave these light leaks. And I can lighten it. So you can still see the texture that's there. And I like, I like to be able to do that because some recoloring uh, techniques do change the texture and I don't want to do that. Colorizing also works well. Let me turn that one off. Colorizing also works well to, to recolor a monochromatic textured element from Anna's designs. This is uh, the Art Heart String from Art Play Palette Take Flight. I am going to clip it, clip the hue and saturation layer to the heart, and I am going to check this box colorize, and I'm going to start moving the hue slider I want it to be a blue close to what doesn't have to match perfectly, but closer to what the uh, close to what the hearts look like, about right, uh, right there. And I think I'll bump the saturation up just a little. Okay. So, by way of summary, in this video, we looked at the default presets in a hue and saturation adjustment layer, specifically master, single color, a single color channel, and colorize in order to recolor Anna's designs as well as adjust the color in your photos. In part two of this series, I will co cover some of the other tools available for recoloring. I hope you found this video helpful. You can find Anna's designs at her store at oscraps.com and let Anna know if you have additional questions. Thank you.